Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm back with uh, probably a shorter video, but this is part four of the large jewelry jar that I started um, uh, a while ago. And at this point, I'm at the bottom of the jar, and I've paired together all of the earrings, and I'd like to start to share things with you. So now, um, some of the earrings. Here's a pair. These are... um pretty much, uh, not pretty much, most of the earrings were clip-on earrings. Um, no precious metals that I can tell, um, but there's a very wearable piece, rectangular uh, silver tone earrings. Um, these are not earrings, these are actually, you can see from the little wicked teeth back here, these are shoe clips. A nice pair of shoe clips, uh, stylized design. Um, I don't know what age they might be. I don't know if people still use shoe clips, but there's a pair of shoe clips. Something unusual to find. Now I found two of these, and I'm not sure um, exactly what they're used for, but I have a suspicion that uh, I've seen earrings where I'm not sure that these go together, at least they don't seem to me. Here's a, a, a pierced earring, and I've seen earrings that go like this, so that um, you have something on the front of the ear and something on the back of the ear. So I suppose, since these are the only two straight post earrings um, in the bunch of that type, um, that they could possibly go together and you could wear the glitter at the back of the ear or the red at the back of the ear. But um, it's not a combination I would have thought uh, thought of. Here's another pair of uh, clip earrings. Uh, this is could be a type of stone. It's not, um, it almost feels like wood. It's not warm. Uh, it's not cold, um, but a very wearable piece of earrings. Uh, sorry, a very wearable pair of earrings. And I often will save clip-on earrings like that and reuse them, um, turning them into charms for charm bracelets. This is a, an interesting pair of stone earrings. And you, it's not glass. You can tell it's stone by some of the little um, holes and indentations that are in uh, in here. Um, so I, I would think that these would be a little heavy to wear, and I would certainly take the stones off and reuse them in something. Um, let's see if I can focus in better on them there. And uh, the, the, the top part of the earrings themselves, they're losing some of their color anyway, so they would probably need to be painted or something else on with them if you're gonna use them for anything. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four pairs of earrings so far. Here's pair number five. Um, this is uh, unusual clip-on earrings. I guess they're meant for somebody who just doesn't have pierced earrings because they're quite a, a modern uh, combination of what looks like a, a carabiner. <laughs> um, in gold tone and then a, a silver tone and then silver tone on the clip part. So um, not sure the age of these, but um, there we go, that's better. Um, quite wearable. I don't know what I'll do with those. I, uh, not, uh, I don't think I would repurp, well, I guess I could repurpose this part, take them all apart. Um, not sure it's worth my time. Uh, Here's another, oh, not another pair. Sorry, here's a single um, clip-on earring. Gold tone, another single well-worn gold tone. Those didn't have any matches. Here's a pair of, uh, I guess you would call them sort of like door knocker, pierced earrings. One has a, a backing, the other one doesn't. In excellent shape. Um, very wearable. So uh, another set of earrings. This is an interesting um, 
set of chain mail earrings. Easy enough to make, very lightweight, uh, well put together. So very wearable for someone. And there's another pair of pierced earrings. These ones, a nice dangle with a little, um, that's glass stone. Just need a, a little polish. Oops, there we go. So there's a nice pair. This is another small pair of clip earrings. So again, um, probably more modern and uh, intended for somebody who doesn't have pierced ears. They have a nice little um, padding on the back of one of them. And I probably would remove that just for cleanliness sake. Um, but not marked in any way. So that's the interesting about all these earrings. None of them are marked uh, with any kind of identification. Oh, there's another pair. I thought this, when I saw this, I thought, oh, it's another finial or something. But actually, these are earrings. And they were worn. They're uh, evidence of, of being uh, well-loved. So the faux pearl with the bead caps. Um, a nice long set of earrings. And uh, everything's intact there. Here's another pair of clip earrings. I don't know if somebody donated their whole set of clips or not. These are nicely, nicely enameled. Actually, they go this way on your ear. So nicely enameled in that um, a soft mossy green and the cream color with the gold tone. And these were all toward the bottom of the, uh, of the jar. Here's another set of clip-ons in excellent shape. Um, I think it's gold tone at the top and then this and, and at the bottom and then silver in the middle. So they would look um, quite nice on. A uh, very, wear, very wearable pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, oh, twelve. There's still more. These are funky. Never see, quite seen earrings like these. Perfect for uh, young and flirty Valentine's Day. Plastic, very lightweight, but a nice pair. So 14. Here's an interesting pair. I had hoped these might be silver, but they're, they kind of have that look, but they aren't. They do shine up nicely. They're probably just... Uh, um, combination of metals. So they, they're not, uh, there's no nickel in them. They're not attracted to a magnet at all. Um, and they have a very small clip on the back. So they're um, a little bit different design than I was expecting. See how small the clip is in terms of, um, but uh, quite attractive sort of abstract design. Number 15. Um, there's this pair of shell earrings. It doesn't really match any of the other shell uh, necklaces and so on. It's kind of a little, a little wonky on the kidney wires here. There we go. But a nice combination of some bit of pink pieces of shell and white pieces of shell. And then I don't know if I have... Oh yeah, there's still more. There's um, this very long, I thought that a uh, very long set of dangle earrings. I thought at first that these were maybe a bracelet or something, but look how long those are. That's uh, longer than three. So that's got it. My fingers are like three inches there. So four, at least four inches long. They're in good shape. So gold tone with a bead, um, a couple plastic beads, and then this interesting little shape at the bottom. I like the fact that this shape is not um, not a feather or a leaf. It's something a little more uh, interesting. So very long dangly pair of earrings. Here's another single earring. So there were three singles. Um, 
And then I'm going to show you some of the men's pieces that were there. Um, so there were three pairs of uh, what I would call cufflinks. This is a very lightweight set. Um, just the button appears at the front of the cuff. This pulls through to the back in gold tone, not marked in any way. There was this gorgeous, gorgeous copper set. Uh, old fashioned style, much older style. Um, again, not marked, but beautiful copper cufflinks. So here's a nice uh, grizzly bear and bull pair of cufflinks. So obviously stockbroker bull and, and bear markets. So that was the three um, men's set of jewelry that were in this uh, jar. Where a whole bracelet, this is only a few of them, a whole bracelet of these pieces. These have got a nice rhinestone in the center and they're meant to go on um, a stretchy cord. So there's, there's five and there's another whole big handful here. So there's probably I don't know, 20 of these at least all together. I won't show them all. So that's uh, good for reusing. Uh, there was this necklace and it's it got some nice beads on it. Um, this one at the bottom is glass. The rest feel like plastic. This one's heavy, but the rest of them are not. Unfortunately, it's got this funny little ring at the end and I'm not sure what's missing uh, nice black beads could be re repurposed quite easily um, even these uh, black beads there at the center the two large with the uh, little diamond sp uh, rhinestone spacer could make nice earrings um, I found one little bead like this but there's n no way that that's what makes the end of this unless somebody put a maybe put a ring in there and was going to try to fix it uh who knows but uh there so there's a necklace that needs repair then there was this necklace i like these they're so much fun this is heavy heavy chain with all those rhinestones and none of the rhinestones are missing a lovely um orangey color and it actually shows up pretty well uh, on the camera. There is a little tag here. If I'll see if I can read it. Uh, J. Crew. Yeah, J. Crew. So that's a J. Crew necklace. So that's quite nice. And I think these earrings um, are meant to go with it. Certainly they are definitely the right color. Um, and uh, very wearable just need a cleaning so there's a, a jewelry set with another pair of earrings then there was this necklace this is kind of interesting it's um, seed beads two strands of seed beads with these little um, plastic um, I'm not sure what you'd call that shape hanging from it so sort of a fringe necklace, nice length, and wonder and behold, matching earrings that uh, were in the jar. So there's a whole jewelry set, lightweight, real flirty. It'd be fun to wear that, I think. Um, oh, a couple more, not a couple more, a few more pairs of earrings and then we have a couple of necklaces so this is uh, a pair of magnetic earrings in excellent shape beautiful uh, plastic stones this is a magnetic closure so I'm not sure how comfortable they would be to wear um, but uh, I think someone would enjoy those so I think we're getting close to 20 pairs of earrings here. Another pair of clip-ons, some nice square um, cream enamel, cream-colored enamel. 
uh, another pair of uh, clip-on earrings. These ones full of rhinestones. And the rhinestones are mostly a silver-colored rhinestone. And then uh, the center one, look at the, uh, the center one is clear, and some of the, the tiny ones around the, in between the silver ones are clear. So very sparkly. Lots of glitter and shine with that pair. Here's a pair of tiger eye earrings, or certainly what feel cold enough. They're open on the back. They're not marked in any way, but they're really nice construction. Um, certainly looks like the flash of, of tiger eye in there. It could be glass, um, but a very nice clip-on design. I think uh, a little more valuable than the others. I think we're missing a little rhinestone here, or or else the rhinestones are... No, actually, I think it's there. I think that's the only clear one, and the rest of them have gone dark. So uh, I'll have to check that out a little further. Oh, no, maybe it is missing. So missing a little rhinestone. I'm not sure how easy that would be to uh, replace. And a bracelet. This is, again, another sort of Valentine's Day type thing comes right apart. This goes on like that. So you could very easily add other charms and things to this. Nice enameled heart in the center uh, on copper and not marked in any way. Um, this box chain. Nice length. Um, very lightweight. It would be nice to put uh, some sort of uh, pendant on it. Maybe that uh, black glass heart that I, uh, needs a new bail that I had earlier in a video. So there's a necklace. And then the uh, last two things in the jewelry jar. Um, this one is marked Jerusalem. It's probably olive wood. It's a rosary um, so some handmade and um, most likely purchased in Jerusalem as a tourist piece and then there's this uh, intact um, rosary as well with the lovely Aurora Borealis beads and a nice um, picture of Mary with the Christ child and then I think oh uh, yeah a picture of Christ on the back of that so that'll shine up nicely I'll have to find some people who uh, I can to whom I can give these so a nice way to end it a couple of uh, of uh, rosaries at the end and a couple dozen probably pairs of earrings I think one of the standout pieces is are these uh, these copper cufflinks older style. This, these aren't belly button rings. No, these are, those are cufflinks. And I'm so glad that I got the pair of them. When I, when I saw only one, I was, I was hoping I'd see the pair. I kind of like these, even though we're, we're missing a little stone down there, but I think that can be, be remedied fairly easily. And I still can't get over the fact that there were three finials <laughs> in the jewelry jar. They, uh, they weigh quite a bit. Um, so if you, uh, Know anybody who needs any finials, send them my way. I got three. Thanks very much. Hope you have a great day. Bye from Pat Hood and Passions and Pastimes.